Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing lip swatches today of the new lipsticks that I have gotten for my birthday and um, I thought this would be more beneficial for you guys to do lip swatches rather than just do a haul where I'm holding up a lipstick, maybe swatching it in my hand. This way you can actually see what they look like on my lips. Um, it is freezing again today and I refuse to put the heat on when it's September. I mean, I want to at least wait until October 1st to put the heat on. So that's why I've got my jacket on. It's not because it's new and I want to wear it. It's because it is freezing in here. So I have to wear a coat indoors. <laughs> so hopefully I won't be like shaking doing this video. Yeah, it's really cold. And to make matters worse, it's not just cold outside. It's cold and raining. Ugh. So hopefully the lighting... The lighting is going to be really tough today, you guys, because um, when it rains, the sky is really white, and that makes it harder to do the lighting. So hopefully this lighting is going to be okay. All right, and uh, one more thing. Um, this eye look that I did today is not going to look good with every single lipstick that I have in front of me here that I'm going to be putting on. So just know that some of these lipsticks I would never, ever where with this eye look, but I think this eye look will look okay or pretty good with most of them, but not all of them. All right, so let's just get started. I have nothing on my lips right now because um, what you have for a lip color definitely is a factor with what lipstick you put over it. So my lips are kind of a, like a mauve shade, I guess. And uh, I'm going to do these lightest to darkest. So I did get a couple of new lip liners and I will be using those with the lipsticks that I bought them for, but the rest of the time I'm just going to use my Color Mates nude lip liner because it's like very um like a basic nude shade that will work with anything really. So the ones that I didn't buy the new lip liners for. I'm just going to use this. So let me put on the first lipstick and I'll be right back. Okay, so the first lipstick that I bought was MAC Velvet Teddy. This is a matte finish lipstick and um, I've had this before and I missed it so I decided that I would get repurchase this with my birthday money. Um, MAC describes this as a deep tone beige. Mm, no, I wouldn't call that a beige. Temptalia, whose blog I reference a lot, she describes it as a warm brown. I think that's a more accurate description. And she gives this a grade of A, and I would tend to agree with that. This applies really easily and goes with a lot. And I think it corresponds nicely with this eye look that I'm wearing today. So that's MAC Velvet Teddy. If you never had this, I think that a lot of you would really like it. it um, it's just a really handy lipstick, especially, I was going to say especially for this time of year, but really you can wear that lipstick any time of year and it will go with most eye looks. So that's MAC Velvet Teddy. And with this next lipstick, I didn't need to use a liner at all. Uh, this is Bite Beauty Cream Lip Crayon. Bite Beauty Matte Cream Lip Crayon in the shade Glossé. I didn't buy this. This was part of my birthday present from Sephora. If you are, if you hold a rewards card from Sephora, you get a birthday gift every year. And this was part of it. So... That's what this looks like. So this was kind of a surprise as far as what it looks like on versus what it looked like in the tube. I When I first saw it, I was like, oh, another mauve lipstick. I already had a lot of those. But yeah, I was so surprised when I put it on because it goes on much deeper than it looks in the tube. So that was kind of a nice surprise because it made it something a little bit different than what I expected. Uh, so, Bite Beauty describes this as a dusty mauve. Um, yeah, it's a dusty mauve, but it's a deep dusty mauve. 
And Temptalia describes this as a warm pink with a satin finish. And keep in mind that this is supposed to be a matte. So it goes on really nice, uh, for a, especially for a matte lipstick. And she gave it a grade of A. I would tend to agree with that. This goes on really easy, uh, no, no struggle whatsoever. So I was very ha happy to get that from Sephora as part of the birthday gift. You also got another lipstick, which I will show you in this. And you get a little like sample of the Agave lip mask and also the Agave um, the lip scrub and the lip balm. That's the Agave stuff, which honestly wasn't I used them and wasn't really that crazy about them at all. Um, I definitely would not purchase either one of those full size, but you know I. That's just me. That's just my opinion. You might really like those, but I don't know. I, I didn't care for either one of them that much. So, uh, but I like the, the two lipsticks that they gave me. So let me wipe this off and move on to the next thing. Okay, so I just lined my lips with that Color Mates nude lip liner. Didn't fill it in. And uh, this is another lipstick that I purchased for my birthday. And this is... MAC Twig. And I've had this before and I missed it so I decided to repurchase this. This is a matte finish. Uh, MAC describes this as a soft muted brownish pink. Mm, I don't know how soft. It's you know pretty I think it's a pretty deep shade actually. Maybe uh, medium deep but yeah soft muted brownish pink is how MAC describes it. Tamtalia describes it as a warm mauve. Yeah, yeah, I I would I would say that's pretty accurate. Um she gives it a grade of A, and yeah, I, I really like this lipstick. I would give it an A too. And I think this is a great color, and I think it would work for a lot of people. I think it looks good with this eye look that I did today. The only one that I'm gonna um show you that I wouldn't put with it so far is that um, by Beauty Glace. I don't think that was that great of a color for this eye look. And then there's one other one that, well, well, we'll do it one at a time. I guess we can discuss that later on. But, but I really like this. This is a MAC Twig. And this next one is one of the ones that I bought a specific liner to go with it. So I bought the liner Hover, which you can kind of see that, that color right there. Never had this before. Um, I bought it to go with this lipstick that I purchased. This is called Tote. And this is a matte finish. And I just lined my lips with the Hover and then filled them in with the Tote. So Mac describes this as a muted reddish taupe brown. That's a fantastic description. I would totally agree with that. Temptalia describes it as a warm brown. She did not give this lipstick a rating. Some of the things that she shows on her blog, she she just doesn't have time to review everything. So this lipstick is on her blog, but it isn't reviewed. But um, I would give this an A. This is just like most of the other matte lipsticks, which I think are a great formula. And I really like this color, and I think it looks good, corresponds well with this eye look that I did today. So I've had this before, wanted to repurchase it, but now with the addition of Hover to line my lips with. So I think that this was a good combo as far as the liner versus lipstick. All right, this next one is the other part of the birthday gift from Sephora. This is from Bite Beauty. This is Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Lipstick in the shade Chai. And I just um, lined my lips with the Color Mates nude lip liner. I didn't fill them in or anything. So this is Chai. 
and Spite Beauty describes this as a mauve brown. Um, geez, I don't know. I, I don't really see a lot of mauve in there. To me, it's more like a reddish brown. And uh, Temtali describes this as a warm brown and gives it a grade of A minus. Yeah, I would I would say definitely. Uh, the formula is nice. It applies easily, nice and smooth, and um, good color for fall. Coordinates nicely with the eye look I did. So I'm um, I'm very happy with both the lipsticks that I got from. Uh, Sephora is part of my birthday gift. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this is one of the lipsticks that I showed you in my birthday makeup haul video that I did last Friday, I believe it was. This is Urban Decay. Urban Decay Comfort Matte Lipstick in the shade 1993. So, um... You may have been wondering what this was going to look like on. So this is it. This is a satin finished lipstick. Urban Decay describes it as a medium brown. Temtalia describes it as a warm brown and gave it a grade of A. I, I love the Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. I, I loved the lipsticks before they changed the formula. <laughs> um, I think they're just good lipsticks all the way around. And um, so this is 1993. I like it. All right, and this is the last one that I have to show you, and it is the deepest, darkest one. And I did buy the corresponding lip pencil to go with it. This is MAC Stone. I bought this in anticipation of growing out my hair. I saw some pictures of some people with gray, white, whatever you want to call this color right here. I saw some pictures of people with that colored hair with this lipstick and I thought it looked really cool. So right now, of course, my hair is transitioning, but yeah, I like this color. Let me hold it up so you can see it. So this is Stone and it's a matte. And Mac describes it as a muted grayish taupe brown. Yeah, definitely. I don't I don't know how muted I would call that. I think it's pretty darn deep, but the grayish taupe brown part of it, I totally agree. Temtalia describes this as a neutral taupe. Yes, I would say so. It does not seem to lean warm like all those other lipsticks that I showed you. It's definitely more neutral, but not quite cool and she gave it a grade of A and yes applies beautiful just like Matt, all Max other matte lipsticks. So those are all the new lipsticks that I bought. I didn't show you any of the ones that I have worn in recent videos because you've already seen them on me. Um, so you've seen them, you know what they look like and I think I mentioned what I thought about them at the time. So these are all my new lipsticks. I think I am definitely ready for fall and winter now. I've got plenty of lipsticks to wear with um, all the fall and winter looks that I could ever want to do. <laughs> so I think I'm all set. Let me know what you think about all these different colors. Do you like any of them? Do you own any of them? What do you think? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.